All right, welcome back to final installment of the Defiant Wings Defiant 28 uh, video build series. So, as I said last time, I was um, going to complete all the final electronics installation. So, the speed control has wired up to it a 5 volt regulator and a 12 volt regulator, and that's buried underneath this hatch here. Um, I actually plucked out some foam underneath the mount um, and put the regulators in there. And you can see I wired on some LEDs there in the back. Um, they're just 12 volt LEDs. That's why we needed the 12 volt regulator. So um, these are just these are just red here. I'll, uh, see. So in flight, these look these look really cool. Um, battery strap here. I just positioned um, a slot, uh, kind of right in the middle of the battery bay. Uh, I drilled a hole here and a hole here, a hole here and a hole here, and then I used my Dremel. Um, you can use uh, an X-Acto knife to cut slits. Just keep scoring and scoring and scoring, and eventually you'll get through there. Um, the final, let me um, power it on with the receiver so I can show you what the final reflex kind of looks like. Um, uh, so I, I still have to fine-tune the reflex here. But you can kind of see what it's looking like. Um, that might be a little bit too much. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, if it's too much, then I'll mechanically extend the control rods to reduce that. Um, I tend to prefer to want too much reflex rather than too little. Because when you do that initial launch, uh, it'll dive to the ground if there's not enough there. So I'd rather it climb up out of my hand. Now, if there's way too much, it'll obviously go up, you know, loop up and over and come back around or hit the ground, stall, whatever. So too much is a problem, too. But I don't think that that's too much. I have to go. I can go check my other one, too, um, my prototype. Uh, that's perhaps what I'll do. Um, the um, winglets here, um, I just used some of the, some Goop E6000. Um just put a bead on there, uh, stick them on, and then I've got these, I don't know if you can see them in there, but the T, uh, not T pins, little little pins, like sewing pins almost. Um, I may or may not leave those in there. I prob probably will just leave them in there, what the hell. Um, but, you know, I press the, uh, I press the uh, winglets on. You don't want a, a lot sticking out ahead of the wing, just a little bit or even flush. Um, and just get them both even. Um, I use the lines, you can see the lines running in the um, chloroplast, and I just kind of judge that on the, against the bottom of the wing, wing surface, uh, to get them both, to get them both even, right? Um, I hot glued the camera in last, um, so I got the whole thing built up as if it were flying, put the battery in, I fly all mine. With these, uh, these are old UBAD 4 cell 75C 1800s, uh, but they're made, they're made by Tattoo. Tattoo still makes these 1875C battery. These have uh, 88, this one has 88 cycles on it, right? 67 plus 20 is 87 plus 1 is 88 cycles. Um, these are getting a little bit saggy, but man, these have been great. I charge them up to HV voltage probably. Um, uh, I'd say at least half the, those cycles were charged to HV, um, so these were great. Um, I think you can you can get these from Tattoo for like thirty two bucks now, so that works out to something like fifteen cents a flight or something like that. Maybe maybe thirty cents a flight. I have to go back and do the math again. Um, perfect amount of weight, two hundred gram battery. Um, this this bird here, um, production version with the battery. Bay placement where it is. Uh, I believe it's about quarter inch, three eighths ahead of my prototype. So my prototype battery bay is a little bit further back. I cut this motor mount up an additional half inch. This thing balances as, at about 4.4 inches. You see the marks here. So this forward mark is 4.375. The back mark is 4.625. So four and three eighths and four and five eighths. It balances right around, right behind the four and three eighths mark. So about 4.4 inches ish. No, no nose weight. Beautiful, as far as I'm concerned. I think this wing is going to handle great. All right. Um, what else? Um, I think that's 
that's pretty much it. You know, my, my speed control, I always like to keep my speed controls out in the airflow, especially these small multi-rotor ones. They like to have a lot of cooling. Uh, so I just use this, this exterior mounting tape and I just stick it right there. Um, it's going to stay real ni nice and cool. Um, yeah, so uh, here, let, let me just show you the, the control throws too. I think this is the last thing. So control throws are really minimal. Right, um, you don't need a lot, so it's about it's about at, at the aft edge of the elevon here, it's about a half inch total back and forth, so a quarter inch up and a quarter inch down. That may not look like a lot of down 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 there, but that's plenty. That's going to make it pitch plenty uh, in uh, go you know going negative, so nose down pitch. Um, this, those are some of the aspects you're going to want to tune in flight. Uh, to get it to fly the way you want, um, I notice on my prototype um, if I'm if I'm inverted and I I give it a lot of down elevator to do an outside, you know, a climbing outside loop. If I give it too much, the motor torque will dominate and it'll start rolling with that motor torque. Um, it's just a characteristic of the wing if you're pitching it too far up. This the the airfoil on this is a semi-symmetrical airfoil and it's it's a higher lift airfoil and so it's going to turn positive g's it's going to turn really good i mean it, it just turns on a freaking dime you know when you're pitching like this uh, it it turns really hard and it's really difficult to get it to stall out um and snap out on you it it's really great um but the other way uh, you just got to take it a little bit easier it wasn't really designed for that you know um sean originally designed this thing to be a small longer range cruiser you know at at half throttle or below on a good healthy pack this thing will fly 10 plus minutes but you, i mean you're looking at possibly up to 15 to 20 minutes if you're nursing the throttle along um so it's got a, it's got a lot, a lot of legs um that's it I want to thank you for watching the video series if you stuck through it this far. Um, let me know if you have any comments. Thanks. Bye.